Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, on the, this episode, I'm going to do a first use of my SE Roger charger from uh, Roger EUC in California. This was um, so this was 350 US dollars and shipping uh, from California to the UK. Um, arrived within a week, which was amazing. So again, shout out to Roger for uh, the quick turnaround on this. I've not used it yet, so this will be the first time using it. Um, and I generally be using this, I think, if we're going to go mega long rides and things like that, so I can get a really fast charging or something like that. Um, but I'm going to try it at home. I've run the wheel down to, I think, about three bars. It's a Sherman S that's sitting behind me. Uh, and we're going to bring this up to sort of 100% um for for the next ride so um i'll um plug it in and then we'll look at the app and um because it's app control via bluetooth this particular one the se charger does 100 to 135 volts um and it auto switches input of 110 to 220 volts so um you will have to if you're from like the uk you know outside the us you will have to buy another kind of kettle lead of up to 13 amps um to plug in there so you can plug into the mains and that's about it, it comes with the cables for the sherman s if you tell roger the, the particular wheel the or wheels you want to charge for he can include the the cables i believe um to get one of these um you uh, sign up for telegram and um search for uh, roger um, hajali or um uh, roger charger the roger charger um, and then you can make contact with them and work out PayPal details and all the rest of it to try and get one of these. So, right, let's get on with it. So we're going to open up the app. Uh, excuse the mess in the background. Um, and then uh, you do have to install, if you've got an iOS device, uh, you have to install AirPlay and then uh, the particular app on there um so if i go to mini app and there is a they'll they'll send you a link and stuff to the the app you need and things like that as part of when you when you buy it so um a lot of it's in that so let's click on on the app and uh, hopefully that will plus and search find the charger which is there and then you can do translate to translate it to English. And you can see input voltage, uh, output voltage, um, and uh, temperature, etc. So it's not plugged in yet. Current voltage 134, current nine amps I've got mine at. This is a hundred volt wheel. So um, I'm gonna change this to a hundred, I believe. and current nine and let's plug in so before you start and plug it in you'll come with these these are for i think v v14 134 volt and the the main ones that splits off is the 100 volt for for the sherman you just need to pull those apart which is um something uh dean mate uh, showed uh, and then you get the right ends for for the Sherman. So we're gonna um, before we plug it in though, you need to make sure you set on the app the 100 volt for your wheel, and then the appropriate amp. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, whatever it is. So I'm gonna start with nine and see how that goes. I'm gonna start up the app again. Plus, search for it, find the charger, let it come up, translate. There we go. So we're going to set this to 100, which is the voltage, and we're going to keep it at 9 amps, and then we're just going to click save and click save. Okay, and then what we're going to do is plug it in. There we go. There we go. So we've got two in. So zoom in closer, so you can see. We've plugged in both sockets. And the Roger charger gives you a readout there. Whoop. 
Uh, so let's have a quick look on the app as well. So let's just go back to the app, the app and you can see the charging stats. There we go. Obviously it's ramped up. You can see the input voltage, current input, current output. Um, and then input power, temperature, etc. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. And uh, it's running at nine, nine amps, so um, should get a lot quicker charger. Obviously, you can ramp it up. I've got a 13 amp uh, plug, which should be means that I can get up to probably 11. 12 to be safe, you don't want to go too near to, I don't believe, to the 13 amps. Um, and yeah, once this is finished, I'll let you know how long it's taken. So it is now 12.49, and we're going to see when this finishes, uh, how long it takes for the 9, uh, nine amp charge. So I've just um, whacked the charging up to 11 amps. It's probably about as much as I'm going to go. Um, 9 was doing fine, I just want to give it to 11. As you can hear, the, the fan is quite loud. Um, so just bear that in mind when you get one of these. Obviously, the more it's pumping in, obviously the louder it's going to going to be. The fans obviously got to keep up with the temperature and stuff like that. Um, seems to be going okay so far. Uh, and I'm going to come back and see uh, see what it's like. So uh, we're back here. It's quarter past one, and uh, it's twenty past one now. But uh, in that time, it has put in six. So it's at sixty-eight percent. We started up fifty percent. Um, around 30 35 minutes ago um, it's now running at 11 amps so it's pushing in you can go to a, probably go to 12 if I wanted to but I think 11 is probably enough for what I need to do for this for this test and um, it's coming at 91.93 volts according to darkness darkness spot anyway and according to the um, Uh, the app, it is uh, what we've got. So your current current output 10.98 amps, current voltage 92 volts. Um, but yeah, it's doing it's doing all right. Uh, it's charging statistics. It's put in 5.99 amp hours. I think that is 541 watt. What hours? WH. What hours? I think. Um, but yeah, so we're going, we're going fine so far. It's on 11, 11 amps, and we'll see how quickly this uh, this comes back up to I don't know 90 something percent. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go 100 percent or whether I'm just going to do that, but we'll see how it goes. Hi. So uh, we've finished rogering my unicycle <laughs> um, with the Roger Charger SE. Um, Summary is that this, after hour and 40 minutes, uh, charged 50%, it was on 50%, and charged to um, 100% with 100, just over 100 volts um, into the wheel, and I'm good to go. Um, now that was running initially for probably about the first 10, 20 minutes on nine amps, then I upped it to uh, 11. Um, you can up it again, um, obviously increase the time. Um, long term, I'm not sure you'd want to be fast charging it to that degree all the time because like most batteries, um, the more you fast charge, it's a bit like my car, like the more you fast charge and only use fast chargers, then the, 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 the battery will eventually have, it'll degrade. It, not, you know, ridiculous or anything like that, but I could imagine if you use uh, too much of the fast charge and then that could um, obviously uh, that might have longer term issues but again you don't know but like I said you can adjust this so you can adjust this down to like you know the normal I know was it five amps or whatever it is that you would normally do on a, a normal charger and just use it that way at home and then when you're out you've got the ability to ramp it all the way up to a full charge I use the the you know ramped it up because I just wanted to see how quickly and how good it'll work and honestly I'm very impressed with this. Um, like I said, this was this was um, game changing for Dean when uh, we was out on a 120 mile ride. 
um, and having this and being able to do those sort of rides, we're already looking at a lot more than 120 miles. Um, to have this in your backpack, if you're gonna know you're gonna do those sort of big journeys and things like that, absolutely perfect. You know, you could literally what like we did is that you know within an hour or so when we we stopped, had some lunch and things like that, you've charged your wheel back up pretty much to full, and you're good to go again. Um, so yeah, uh, really good, brilliant product, decent price, really fast shipping. Um, and again, you know, uh, Roger was very responsive um, when I reached out to him around getting one of these. Um, this is, like I said, this is Roger Charger SC 100 to 135 um, volts. There's other models. There's uh, ones without screens. There's ones where Bluetooth, you could put like, there's a one with a dial and things like that. Check out um, Roger EUC's um, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, there is a... a uh, a little video that he's done on those I'll, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below um, but yeah fully recommended great purchase and can't wait to use this more out in the field when we're out on um, on trips so um, thanks for watching hope you found it informative if you did don't forget to like comment share all the lovely stuff to do and I'll see you soon cheers bye